Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the D Machine A Easter Egg Guide. This is the most easy, concise, just simple Easter Egg Guide that I can make for this map with everything included. This is the entire map. Everything you need to know is included in this video. We just got first in the world for the Easter Egg today, which I am so, so excited about. And I'm excited for you guys to get your first completion as well. So without further ado, let's get into step one. So the first step is to get your free die weapon. And from there on, you can go on to upgrading it. But in order to go ahead and get this free die weapon, you do have to actually turn on the power and build the pack and punch machine in the dark ether now once you do both of these things in the next following rounds there's going to be this radioactive zombie that spawns you obviously kill him the first time he splits into two different parts you kill the first part and then the second part that you actually kill he is going to drop a golden key card this is a special item that is going to go into your inventory and stay there for the rest of the game you're going to pick up that key card and once you have that key card you can immediately go down to the weapons lab now once you are in the weapons lab you're going to go ahead and go up to this drawer that is blinking with the red light is going to allow you to insert that key card and once you do that you'll be able to pull out that die remote control now this remote control is actually going to allow you to activate a die that is stuck inside of Nocturne on Toten inside of this door and it's basically going to act as a mini trap and you have to get a certain number of kills in here so to do this as best as possible again try to get power on as as early round as possible build pack a bunch as early as possible kill that thing as early as possible train up a bunch of zombies turn on this trap and as you can see it will start sucking up those zombies into that die shockwave gun now once it has actually absorbed enough souls uh, keep in mind this is kind of dangerous it won't absorb every single soul that walks by but whenever it uh, does actually absorb enough make sure you go over and you're going to be able to remote control it again to discharge it and it's going to blow that door straight off of there and there's going to be a skeleton in there holding the die shockwave the base rarity of this gun just the straight up wonder weapon that you can also get out of the box but this is how you get it for free so now that you have it for free you can go ahead and start upgrading it after getting your free die shockwave you need to get started on two of the four wonder weapon upgrade quests because they are required for a later step in the easter egg and you can do them immediately the other two you're gonna have to wait a little bit for but we will do that when the time comes so the first one is very very easy first step to upgrade the first one is to just shoot the wooden box off the top of nocturne tone it will fall down and reveal a empty flask now you need to get one of the boss zombies to shoot you and hit this mushroom on the tree so just stand right next to this mushroom on the tree if done correctly the zombie will shoot it you will hear a character quote in your radio talking about how there's a weird interaction or a weird chemical compound that is being formed there and if you've done that correctly you can place the vial that you just picked up underneath and it will start collecting the stuff dripping off of this chemical reaction the glowing purple mushroom and after a little bit of time i just killed my zombie i didn't have to in the round i didn't have to do anything like that i just killed the boss zombie picked up the key card from him and you can run over and pick up that full flask and that is the entire upgrade complete for the first one head down to the uh the med bay melt the chains off of this little box and you will have your first of four upgrades this is the first of four that you will need for a later step of the easter egg and it can be done right away and really really help you out with a lot of the steps so i recommend doing it first now now that you have your first upgrade you can go ahead and work on the second one again this doesn't have to be in this exact order you can do this upgrade first if you would like to but go ahead get the base version of the die shockwave again and go over and use the suction technique to pull this vial this empty canister off of the wall and you're going to go ahead and take it down to where dead shot daiquiri is and you're going to place it into this little corner when you place it in that corner it is now ready to absorb the gas so you need to have a uh, plague hound jump at you and then when it's in that corner you need to go ahead and kill it and this canister will absorb all of the gas from this plague hound and you can go ahead and pick it up off the wall and take it over to the spawn area and it will allow you to get your second wonder weapon upgrade again a very very easy one you just need to have that plague hound spawn put it right there and then you can just shoot it with any weapon it will explode and melt all of the vines off of there and uh, you will be able to grab your second wonder weapon upgrade super super easy and let's get on to the first step of the actual easter egg now so for the first step you need to go ahead and enter into the dark ether and whenever you enter into the dark ether after building pack a punch in one of the three following locations there will be a part that spawns these parts spawn one at a time one after another and you might have to go back into the dark ether multiple times by killing more zombies and progressing more rounds to get another portal to spawn but this is the second spawn location right here the first one is by the crash site the second one is right here next to power you're gonna go ahead and pick that one up or if it didn't spawn there it will be all the way over in spawn right here glowing they're super super easy to see but again these parts will only spawn one at a time and after picking it up you might run out of time in the dark ether or it might directly send you out so just keep on looking 
looking for them until you get all three. And once you get all three, you're going to go back to the normal mode and you're going to build on this buildable table the Ether Scope. And this is going to allow you to progress to the second step of the Easter Egg, which we are going to get into right now. So for step number two, you need to kill some more zombies, progress the rounds until you get another Dark Ether Portal, enter into the Dark Ether, and then go to the computer and collect the diary on the second floor right above Speed Cola. When you collect this diary, you're going to go directly under an ETH, and the Ether Scope is going to allow you to summon this ghost. You're going to give him his diary, so you need to hold square once to summon him, hold square a second time to give him his diary, and he will start talking. It'll be like a little mini cutscene. You'll still have to survive. You don't have to stand next to him or anything like that. And once he finishes talking, he will disappear. Now, at this point, you need to go back into the Dark Ether again, or if you have enough time, you can do two in one go. It just kind of depends. You basically just need to keep going back into the Dark Ether and then go to the second spectral location, which is right here in the trial room. So go ahead and same exact thing. Summon him with the first click, give him his diary with the second click, and he will go through another speech. Now, at this point, you need to go back into the Dark Ether again once his speech is completed, and you will go ahead and head down to right where you actually built the Ether Scope. And there will be another spot for him to actually be summoned, and then you need to do the same exact thing, give him his diary. It will be kind of like a little finicky thing that you have to find the spot where you can actually give it to him, but you can give him his diary. He will go through a third and final speech, and then you will now have the computer password because basically for each one of these speeches, he is writing one letter onto the diary. So head over to the computer. You will now have the password and you will enter it into the computer and you'll get a bunch of character quotes and everything like that, telling you that the password's received and you're ready to go on to the next step. After you enter in the password on the computer, it makes the other two upgrades available for the Wonder Weapon, which you need to do immediately. The first of which will spawn a specialty portal. This is the only portal that this will work in. Underneath the Pack-a-Punch area, this portal only spawns here for the Wonder Weapon upgrade. If you enter through a normal Dark Ether portal, it will not work. You need to enter in through the correct portal. Bunch. So enter through that portal, and if you have entered through the correct portal, you will see this glowing crystal that you can actually suck up and get a supercharged die shot. So once you do that, head right right next to where you actually just entered through that portal and you're going to shoot this little case on the side and one of the three lights will actually light up once you do that you can go ahead and head back out onto the surface head to the top of nocturne toten and sure enough you can supercharge your die just like that so go ahead and shoot that box once again that is two out of the three lights on and at this point i actually ran out of time it teleported me back into the normal world and again just get more kills go through rounds and eventually that portal will spawn back in usually it's not very long at all so very next round i went back in I sucked up that one little crystal on the side, and this is my third supercharged shot. You don't have to do this all in one go. You don't have to do it in one portal entry, but obviously you can if you are fast enough. So suck it up, shoot it at that box. If you shoot all three of them into there, you will get the die electro bolt, which will be the electric upgrade for the die. A super, super cool one, and one that is very, very powerful. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the next upgrade. For the fourth and final upgrade, you need to take each one of the fast travel systems in the Dark East ether once there's one underneath right next to this fuse box that i'm shooting which is the thing you need to do after you take all three of these fast travel systems there is one in nocturne tone that leads to the wonder weapon room and there's one in that pond area if i had kept running past the portal but once you get that portal to spawn in right there once you have taken all three fast travel systems that portal will spawn in in that exact spot and once that portal spawns in you need to go ahead and grab the fuse from that spot you'll be able to grab the fuse early if you'd like to but this will only spawn if you get the portal from from the pond area and again to do that go through each one of the fast travel systems once this will spawn in if you have done that any of you have entered through the correct portal it's kind of hard to do because you have to kind of time it properly but once that portal spawns there you know you are good to go and that you can go in put the laser cutter in there insert the fuse and you'll be able to get the fire upgrade and once you have the fire upgrade you're on to the next step the computer will say that it now needs more power and you need to have all four wonder weapons built at this point. You can have one player do this if you're doing solo or you can have each player holding one of the wonder weapons. But each one of these four things reacts to one of the wonder weapons and will actually move and flip up and go into a different position after being shot with the wonder weapon. So once again, get all four wonder weapons, shoot the correct dial, it will move up to the top and once you do this, it will be ready for the next step in the Easter egg. So as you can see, after the fourth one goes, I get a character quote and then we are moving on. On to going back into the dark ether once again so find that ether portal kill the zombies to open it back up if it's not there and head back into the ether and then at the top floor right next to where you shot this thing there will be another little cutscene that you can watch here and it will tell the story of two soldiers and how they stole this item now your job is to get this item back and i'll show you guys how to do that right now 
So after you finish these characters cutscene, you will actually be exited out from the Dark Ether automatically, and there will be a Dark Ether wrench sitting where they were just speaking. So go ahead and pick up that Dark Ether wrench, and you're going to head over to the spawn where there's going to be an option to bang on the tank in the spawn. So you're going to go ahead and do that multiple times until a zombie pops out of the little hatch. Now, once the zombie pops out of the hatch, you can kill him with whatever weapon you want to. It doesn't matter what weapon. And then after that, you need to go over to the crafting table and craft a Simtex. And you need to stick this Simtex to the very top of the tank tank lid it's just as so just as you see me do and the tank if done correctly will fire a bullet at the tree in which this little item that they stole has been hiding in run over to where this tank shot this item out of the tree pick up the item and a ton of dogs will spawn in so be careful during this part because you're kind of defenseless when you're actually carrying this thing but you're going to carry it back down to where you actually picked up the dark ether wrench right above speed cola and you're going to insert it into this machine and it will actually tell you that it is now awaiting a subject you will get some quotes about it needing a subject to actually be processed and and worked and this is where you need to wait for one of the radioactive boss zombies to spawn in so after a round or two the boss zombie will spawn it took about two rounds in our game for him to spawn it's just kind of on a cycle when he spawns and when he does it but whenever he does you need to lead him over to this room and you need to go ahead and kill his first form so he splits into the two halves you can do this anywhere on the map but we found it was much much easier if we just split both of his halves directly over where he actually needs to be. So once his halves actually walk underneath this, they will be automatically sucked up into this machine. And then every single player on your team needs to head to this little observation room. And if every single player is in there, you'll get the option to turn on the computer and he will basically be reformed into one person that can speak. He's a human being again, and he will tell you that he is scared and uh, it's he's in pain, all that stuff. And he will actually run away into the power room and all the lights will shut off in the power room. Just a side note, as soon as the doors open, a ton of dogs and a ton of boss zombies will spawn so just run away kill them all at your own pace don't stay in this room like we did just get out of there kill them at your own pace and then you're on to the next step so now we are on to the last step and forewarning this step is no going back after you do this step you are going to the boss fight whether you are ready or not so buy perks before doing this get ready get pack a bunch of weapons get your wonder weapons everything like that ready to go and then once you are ready go into the dark ether mode and when you are in the dark ether mode go to the corner of nocturne and Toten. you will get more storyline about this guy talking and then after exiting the dark ether it will kick you back out and you will be able to pick up this family photo now whenever you pick up this photo you are going to the boss fight. No going back. You are going. So let's talk about the boss fight and how to beat it. So once you pick up this picture that he drops, you'll be instantly teleported to the Pack-a-Punch room and locked in here. He will now be friendly. He will be a blue health bar signifying he will not hurt you. And then he will say he wants to shut down the particle accelerator. Now, at this point, the boss fight begins. This boss fight consists of a few zombie spawns, a few dog spawns, a few heavy zombie spawns, and a ton of boss zombies. You get tons of red megaton bombers, which, again, haven't really been important in this Easter egg. They're just there to kill you. And there is a lot of them. And not not only that in this boss fight, but they can split into Megaton Bombers. So you get, I mean, it is a lot, a lot of boss zombies. And here is my number one tip. Everybody who has a wonder weapon should be just killing boss zombies. These things will overrun you very, very quickly if you're not taking them out quickly. So just spray them, lay into them. Literally do not take your finger off the trigger until every single one of them is dead because every single time you kill a boss zombie, it drops ammo. So you not only have a hugely powerful wonder weapon, that's not even a word, hugely powerful wonder weapon, you need to go ahead and use your ammo sparingly because you pick up more ammo for it just by killing the bosses. So you want to chain your ammo from boss to boss to boss running over where you kill them and then if you actually run out of ammo you can actually buy more for 10,000 points on the bottom floor there's an ammo wall by which will basically allow you to fill up your ammo for your wonder weapon basically three of your players need to be doing this realistically three of your players need to be absolutely just killing boss zombies and then one player needs to be protecting the guy as he's doing three different locations there are three different spots he will run to each one you need to protect him in that spot make sure you don't let him take too much damage he will stop what he's doing and i'm pretty sure if you let him get hit too much you will actually fail the boss fight and you will lose so make sure you're protecting him make sure you're killing the bosses as quickly as possible everyone with a wonder weapon should be focusing him and uh that is basically the boss fight you'll do this three different times the screen will go white it's very easy if you keep control of the bosses and once this is done the facility will start to break apart so here is the route that i will tell you to take that i took it is a super super easy one you have a one minute and 30 second timer to actually get to the helicopter before you basically lose i think you just insta die but 
The main thing you need to know about this is don't panic. Just avoid the electricity beams. Kill the zombies. Throw monkeys if you have them. Use your ether shrouds. Use any field upgrades that you can. And avoid the electricity because, again, if you step inside of it, you will die instantly. Only one player in your squad needs to survive all the way to the chopper. It's really, really easy. Take your time. Avoid the electricity beams. The chopper will land once you get close and you hold square and you have completed the Easter egg. Unfortunately, there is no cutscene for this Easter egg, which is a little disappointing but hopefully for DLC 1, we definitely get one. And I I just have such high hopes for this game because this is by far the most fun it's ever been just to kill zombies, just to play the game. I absolutely love this map and I cannot wait for more. Really cool exit scene as you fly on out and that is it for the Easter egg. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe for more content because we got a lot more coming and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.